communists and their sympathizers seek to foment suspicion and distrust of our motives, even attempt to influence our allies to eliminate our overseas bases, which are protecting them as well as us. Their mediums of mass communication are tireless in vilifying us as a nation and as individuals, such as depicting you as a brute and a ravager. Is there a chance that the communists will succeed? Is there a possibility that our allies will accept this malicious perversion of us and everything we stand for? In large part, that is going to depend on how thoroughly we understand this conflict and how dedicated we are to victory. Understanding is a continuing process and it embraces many different aspects of our day-to-day -day living. It is, at root, a function which involves the flow of information. I am Lowell Thomas. We live amid the greatest abundance of information any people has ever had. But survey after survey reveals an astonishingly low informational level among us. To be sure, the right to remain uninformed is one of the privileges of a democracy, but in a contest such as the one we are engaged in, it is one of the surest ways of losing our freedom. Being informed does not mean only keeping up to date on current events, important though that is. It means also being aware of developments within our own nation and the forces that move through it, its weaknesses as well as its strengths. We all too often dishonor our freedom and demean it. But that's not the full story. If it were, our system would have collapsed long before this. The full story is in the progress we consistently make through law and through education, the way free men must. The communists would like to have you, as well as people in every country in the world, believe otherwise. And once they have succeeded in letting the idea take root that our deficiencies are our chief characteristics, once they have managed to erode our faith in ourselves at least a little, that much of the battle is lost. A snake of a whisper is abroad that Americans have lost touch with their past. Is it true? It can't be if we are to survive and win. If we understand the conflict, then we understand the need to keep America strong in her greatest challenge by keeping alive the standards and the traditions which have been her glory. What are the bulwarks of our past upon which our society has been built? There are many, and we have discussed some of them. Our spiritual heritage, our belief in individual liberty. But there is yet another as important as any of these. I am Helen Hayes. Many of us who are living now will never see the end of the conflict which dominates our lives. Leaders change and leadership passes from one generation to the next. But for generations, or certainly for many years, the challenge which confronts us will continue. So it becomes not just a hope, but an urgent condition for a peaceful future that those who are catapulted into the problems of maturity with every passing year will understand the challenge and devote themselves to it even as you and I must. Interest cannot lag, efforts cannot cease. It will require the sternest kind of dedication bred, as it were, into the American character. The training grounds in which this discipline will be planted and perfected are the institutions which have shaped our society, particularly the home, which has always been, in our culture, the nucleus of society itself. The home is the wellspring of the strongest qualities of citizenship, and it must remain so if we are to preserve the toughness of moral fiber which is our strongest heritage. A toughness of moral fiber, a belief in the right, as God gives us to see the right, as Lincoln put it in words which are carved into our national soul. These are the sinewy threads of our past. Keeping America strong, this is our challenge. Keeping the vision of liberty bright, keeping the threads of our past, the strands of moral toughness with which our history is bound. Moral toughness, the quality which made men work instead of weep on the hostile shores of New England. 
which bled mortally yet never died on a hundred fields and oceans stretching out from Valley Forge, which moved strong men west, bringing with them first only their pride, then their railroads, which built cities and governments, and created wealth, and above all, made freedom the birthright of every man. That quality must still live within us, for without it, we are surely lost. And it will live, so long as we keep faith in our future and faith in our past. This is the challenge, as compelling, as severe, as crucial, as Americans in any age have ever faced. Big Picture is an official report for the armed forces and the American people. Produced by the Army Pictorial Center. Presented by the Department of the Army in cooperation with this station.